Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Head Over the Footy. Today we're going to be talking the MCG. Swifties absolutely smashed the MCG over the weekend. Uh, it began on Friday and then another two concerts on the next two days. Taylor Swift set Melbourne alight. More than 240,000 fans entered the MCG and watched her play it live at the venue and in a remarkable feat. Taylor Swift brought more than $1.2 billion to the Melbourne economy. A remarkable event for the city and the tour will continue. But what is now under the pump is the MCG curators. they got to get the turf up in time for the AFL Round 1 clash between Carlton and Richmond. They've got 24 days to get it all done. And if we compare it to last year when Ed Sheeran played at the MCG... They only had to relay 40% of the grass. Following the Taylor Swift concert, the MCG curators will have to relay two-thirds of the grass. So almost double the work for the curators who will need to get the grass up in time and up to scratch for the likes of Dustin Martin, Charlie Kerner and all these superstar players to be playing on the grass and in safe conditions. Uh, just 24 days after Taylor Swift performed at the venue. It's a lot of pressure on the curators. An article in the Herald Sun on Sunday from John. Just remember, here at Head Over the Footy, you can go to YouTube and Spotify to get the full episode and not miss any bits of our content. So head over to YouTube, subscribe, go to Spotify, give us a follow, and you'll be able to catch all our content and never miss a moment. An article in the Herald Sun on Sunday from John Anderson said that Matt Page, he made a swift exit and that this, the concert may have played a role in the recent shock departure of the curator. So from reading that, you can quite confidently assume that uh, there's been a bit of disappointment from the curators towards the swift concert and what it might do to the work of the curators who will have to try and get the grass up, maybe they won't be able to do it, and which is potentially the reason why this curator has left the job. So there's a few questions here that need to be answered, and head over the footy. We're more than willing to have the AFL on here to confirm that the grass will be all good to go or any of the curators at the MCG. But at the moment, from seeing some reports in the news, in the paper, on TV... It doesn't sound too confident. It's not giving fans and officials full confidence that the ground will be good to go for that first game. Could be carnage at the MCG. If We've had a great response on our socials, so jump on board, give us a like, give us a follow, and uh, you'll be sure not to miss any good moments. We put up a lot of our short clips on our socials. We've got a TikTok page, Instagram, and Facebook, so jump on them. And you'll stay up to date with all our content at Head Over the Footy. It could be carnage at the MCG. If they go ahead with this game, who knows what could happen. Well, let's hope for the best. Let's hope that the curators are able to get the grass up, which I'm sure that they'll be able to do. But at the moment, there is a little bit of concern. I watched the highlights of the first game last year, which happened 12 days after Ed Sheeran's concert. And looking at the grass, you could clearly see that it wasn't sitting there for more than three months. It had been freshly laid. It wasn't a pretty sight. I've certainly seen the MCG turf in better condition. So the pressure is on the MCG curators right now. Let's hope for some good weather because that'll certainly be a factor. But in terms of the AFL and the MCG... This is a big month for both parties. They'll need to make sure that they're able to get this up and firing because there'll be 90 plus fans expected at the venue again in a few weeks time and they'll need to make sure they're ready to go for another big event.